Okay, so I've got to the process now where I'm ready to start preparing the films for scanning, which uh, will happen once the scanner arrives tomorrow. So I've retrieved a bunch of stuff from my parents. Not everything, but uh, most of it. I know there's a little viewer editing thing. What I've got, obviously, is the projector, which is at the back. This is something my grandfather made, mounted it on a bit of board. It's two hand reels with a splicer. So basically, I put one on that end and a blank one on this end. They reckon that what you should do before playing them through the projector or through the scanner is to just wind and unwind and wind and unwind a couple of times the film so that there's uh, a flatter film afterwards because these have been on the reels for like 40 years so there'll be a bit of a curl so just doing that by hand nice and gentle so they don't snap okay there's some sort of splicing equipment here we've got another splicer here which um you pop your film in there and then that down and then you rough it up and you use the liquid cement. We've got some left over from the old days, but I've bought some quick, some quick splicing tape, which I'm going to use instead. Or a few bits of leader, which I can add on to the ones that I haven't got it. And there's a few more films there and there's a, a caddy of films there. So I've got a fair bit to do. And then these, obviously, these little ones. These uh, date to my life. Look, Ampuria Brava and Buxton when I was a kid. So um, there's also older stuff of Cabwe Mining Town, which is uh, in Zambia. Me as a baby, so I'm what, three months to four months old there. So yeah, this is all gonna be fun. So today I'm just gonna start by winding these things through a couple of times each way in preparation for the scans. So it's just nice and simple, wind it back and forth. So I've wound it from there onto there, onto here, onto there, and then back onto here. So it's had a couple of unwinds and a couple of rewinds. It's all running nice and smoothly now. So hopefully when it comes off the reel into the scanner, it won't kind of skip or judder or anything like that. It should be all nice and smooth. Now obviously this hasn't been used in 40, 50 years, so uh, it did gum up and uh, a bit of WD-40 was used to sort that out. All, all good. Smoothed it right up. So that's another one done. I've done six of them now. I'll pop the insert back on there. It does seem to be only um, suitable for Super 8. I've got those carriers there for the Super 8, but not for normal 8 mil. So... That's a bit unfortunate, but most of this is Super 8, I think, by the look of it. So that's all right. My projector's only Super 8 as well. So I feed this into the slot there, and then give it a little turn, and then on we go. Hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to scan everything without any failures and without too many breaks. We'll see, of course, but... Uh, you can't tell unless you try. There you go, it's come right the way through, and then we just put it back on again. Away you go. Well done, Grandpa, you made a good little tool there. What I didn't show you earlier is, it's got little lock and release buttons, so you can change the height and everything. So hopefully, when I get to doing the big reels, that will be, uh, just as usable. I think it will. It looks like it's plenty enough space. In fact, we'll just pop one and see. Oh yes, more than enough space. Perfect. That would actually go onto small reels, so that particular lot. So, brilliant. Let's carry on.